I can hear you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. No, teacher. Good evening, teacher. I cannot hear teacher.
Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Yeah, good teacher. Evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, you hear me this time, guys? Good evening, teacher. Yes, you hear me? Yes. 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 Ah, okay, perfect, yes, perfect. Yes. Great. Yes. I'm really sorry, but sometimes I don't know what happens with the microphone. My computer fails, has some issues sometimes, but finally we are online. Okay, guys. Uh, hey, welcome. How How is it going today? How is it going? Great. Yes, teacher. In my case, my day was uh, great. Okay, perfect, perfect. What about you, Romeo, Carla, Sofia, Alejandra? Mm, really, today was very tired for me. <laughs> ah, a lot tiring. Okay, I imagine. Yeah. Because it was yeah. Monday, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A long Monday. Yeah, Mondays are usually pretty busy when you come back from weekend. Okay, guys, uh, great that you are online. Thank you for joining. This is the first week, okay? Your model is about to finish. We are going to cover mm -hmm. the last four classes uh, beginning with today. All right, uh, let's see. I'm gonna share my screen uh, with you. In this moment, just uh, let me let me know if you see the screen, what I am projecting in this moment. You see the construction workers? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, just let me close these things that I opened. I was trying to fix with this tool, HP, HP tool, but I don't need it anymore. All right. Let's see, uh, today we have class number number 13 that we are going to check this topic from this uh, week. And let me uh, show you the topic that we are gonna practice. Topic is about culture, all right? As you know, culture is part of our identity. Uh, can you can you think in one thing that we as Salvadorian identifies people from El Salvador? What is what is culture for you? What is culture in your own words? Or what culture does it mean? Any... Maybe the music. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Can you repeat it? May, maybe the music. Music. Okay. What type of music can you think about as cultural music? Cumbia. Uh... Uh -huh. That's right. Cumbia. Torito know. Pinto. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. Uh -huh. Torito Pinto. Uh, what, what else? What else is culture? Uh... Music. Yes. We have culture. Uh, in music, food. folklore music. Yeah, food. Uh, food, for example, what what type of food? Pupusas. Ethnical foods. Pupusas. Um, what else? Tamales. Tamales. Uh -huh. Tamales. Sopas. The soup. Uh, uh, pata soup, maybe. Suco. Soup. Pata. Soup is too general, but you have to mention pata soup. What, what's pata soup? What's that? Yeah, we have uh, pupusas, uh, pastelitos, nuegados, etc. Yeah, any type of food. Okay, we have food, music, and what else? What else is culture in our country? Uh -huh. Customs. Customs, for example. What, what customs do we have? Uh, uh... Celebrate as a saint. All right. Hey, you're right. When we celebrate a saint, correct? Uh, for example, a Monseñor Romero, right? Yeah, uh -huh. El Salvador del Mundo. A uh, savior, the savior of the world. Uh, correct, that's it. 
What about uh, tales or histories in El Salvador? Remember the class, Cipitio, uh -huh. Cibonaba, uh -huh, the folklore, El Salvador folklore. That is culture. Okay, we have a lot of things. Great, pretty good. Festivities, teacher. The festivities, correct. Festivities, August festivities, and a uh, hey, welcome to September, guys. We are in September already. Welcome. What is this festivity that we celebrate in September? Independence Day. Our Independence, correct. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, we are close to celebrate Independence Day. And it's going to be different, I, I believe so. It's going to be kind of different. Okay, pretty good. Uh, practice these questions. When we talk about culture, we can make different type of questions. Uh, Romeo, can you ask uh, Francisco any of these options in the questions? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, what's the culture that you admire, Francisco? All right, Francisco. Um, the Brazilian culture is very interesting. Brazilian culture. Why does a Brazilian cult culture called your attention? Why? Why is that? For example, the music, samba. Ah, samba music is pretty famous, correct? Yeah. Yeah, they have the carnival, uh, Sao Paulo, right? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, so Rio, Rio. Rio de Janeiro. Carnival, correct. Yeah. All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Carla, can you make the question to Jorge? We have four, four, ends, four options. Carla, you can make that question to your classmate. Jorge, what's the culture that you like? Jorge, what about you? What culture that you, do you like? Um, I have uh, some culture. But um, I like is uh, mm, Escocia. Uh, or... Escocia in English, guys, remember the country? Scotland. Yeah, correct, it's Scotland. Uh, Scotland. Why, because of the Gaita, Jorge, or why? Is is for me, it's very interesting because the the weather. How is the weather in Scotland? It is very cold. For me, it's a uh, fascinate this culture and the food and the um, clothes. The clothes. Ah, uh, the clothes is pretty interesting, right? Men use uh, skirts, okay? Cultural skirts, not only. It's not a normal uh, skirt. It is... Uh, very special. Uh, what about you, Francisco uh, Romeo? Sorry, Romeo. What is the culture that you that you that you say? Hey, I want to be in that country. Mm, really, I like the Japanese culture because they are the many. Uh, uh, polite. Uh, yeah, polite, but they are very. Uh, uh, in Spanish, you can say uh, it can. some ah discipline. Ah, discipline. They are yes, because yeah, they no. are very very disciplined. Yeah, yeah, they are very disciplined. Okay, it's yeah. awesome. It's awesome. I want. I want to go to Japan once yeah. one day. <laughs> All right, uh, Francisco, what about you? What country you feel interest about the culture? All right, uh, let's see, uh, Anne Ivania, what about Spain. you, Sophie? Spain. Spain, why Spain? Yeah. Um, the, uh, the same, the music is, uh, uh, for example, flamenco. Ah, Flamingo's music, correct? Ah, okay, it's really, yeah. Nice. yeah. It's, okay. It's pretty. very interesting for me. Yeah, okay. Many countries have a lot of culture and interesting things that you can uh, investigate and read. 
Okay, guys, you have these uh, four type of questions when talking about culture. Let's check. We are going to make a visit to some places using this link. This link is pretty cool. Uh, when I found this website, I found it pretty cool because you can learn a lot of things. All right. Uh, please, uh, Ana Ivania, hello. Are you online? Ivania, are you yes, there? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, pretty good. <laughs> Ivania, <laughs> can, you, uh, can you read this small paragraph, please? Okay. Uh, cultural influence. Uh, countries, countries that common cultural influence are often synonymous with the foods, fashion, and easy living. Uh, they are trendsetters, the country equivalent of the color older sibling. Okay. Their products ha have that certain a uh, ah, this is French. This is French Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. Uh -huh. That makes uh, them fly a little faster of the shows. Uh, their music, television, and movies are absorbed by other cultures, uh, becoming becoming a uh, part of a wider global conversation. These countries are only are living uh, the way in art, fashion, and entertainment. All right. Uh, if I ask you guys, uh, what? What influences in from other countries or cultures? What influence do we have in El Salvador from other countries? What would you say? Why would you answer? Influence from other parts? Halloween, for example. Correct. Yeah. I believe that we didn't celebrate Halloween until we got in contact with that with that custom and that is not from El Salvador that is from European countries all right European or American from the U.S. correct Canada U.S. etc. Uh, Halloween correct what what any other influence you can mention Christmas. from other parts excuse me Christmas Christmas uh yeah that is another celebration Thanksgiving correct? Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving, we don't celebrate no. it like in other countries here in El Salvador. It's, it's kind of different. But yeah, it has kind of influence in El Salvador. Uh, what else? Uh, St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day, do we celebrate St. Patrick's? Yes. In some ah, really? Places, yes. In some places in, in San Salvador? Ah, example. correct, yeah. For uh -huh. example? Uh, I usually I see at the these small uh, cascadas and to the the other mall. Se me olvida el nombre. Ah, multi. El uh, el otro que está más arriba. <laughs> Se me olvida la Gran Vía. La Gran Vía. All right. Yeah. The restaurant Benigans. Ah, Benigans. Ah, Benigans is like from other country, right? Yes. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Okay, some pubs, for example, some pubs or places that you can drink beer or any other beverages, they have a concept from other countries. That's why they celebrate that in, in here, El Salvador. Okay, pretty good. Okay, good, good, good. Let's see. And the first country that we see is... The first country is? Italy. 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 Who likes Italy? I raise my hand. I love this country. Why do you think I love it? Why? In my opinion. Why do you think I love Italy? Because of the pasta. <laughs> uh, that's one reason, correct? I love pasta. Uh -huh. Pizza. Uh, because of case, the, I, I don't have any sightseeing either. The sightseeing is correct. Pretty beautiful. That's right. 
but I like the whole culture. It has a huge culture, Italy. Okay, uh, let's see who wants to read about Italy. Let's find some interesting things about this country. Okay, volunteer for reading my favorite cultural country. I love El Salvador as well, but I want to go to Italy too. Uh -huh, volunteer? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Julio. Okay, let's see. Uh, capital of Italy, pretty easy. Rome. Rome. What is the region? Excuse me. Uh, the region. In what part? In Europe. the globe. Europe. In, in Europe, correct. Okay, and you see numbers, etc. But we want to read about this. Okay, whenever you want to begin. Okay, Italy is a South Central European country whose boot shape borders ex extend into the Mediterranean Sea. The country historical cities were renowned cuisine and geographic beauty make it a popular destination for more than 40 million tourists each year. The nation is home to Mount Etna, Europe, Europe Europe's tallest and the most active volcano and houses to countries within its borders, the, the Vatican and San Marino. Okay, thank you. Okay, what is cuisine? Who knows what is cuisine? What is this word? Cuisine. Gastron ga uh, gastronomy. Yeah, the gastronomy, the food. Okay, do you like pizza? Do you like pasta? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In Italy, kind of difficult hamburgers, right? That is America. But I love pasta. I love a lot of food from Italy. Okay, good. Uh, volcano. What is, a, what is a volcano? Have you heard about Mount Etna? It's pretty, mm -hmm. pretty famous. Pretty famous. Okay, very good. You know the Vatican, right? Yeah, I believe that you know. In San Marino. Okay, that is a very touristy place. Uh, continue, please. Italy's history started with the uh, uh, Trukens and ancient civiliz civilization that was uh, eventually supplanted by the Romans in the third century before Christ. Italy's city states were the first to embrace the European Renaissance. The country became unified in the uh, 19th century. 19th century, okay. Hey, have you heard about the Truscans? No? No. Okay, this is pretty much a study in the subject art. I studied about the Truscans in the university when I studied there. My first years in the university is pretty interesting. If you, if you can read about this, do it. It's pretty good. Okay, next paragraph. Italy is a republic with more than uh, 60 million people. Its capital, Rome, it's its largest city. About 80% of Italy's population is Christian, with most pop, uh, people identifying as Roman Catholic, Catholic but about 20% uh, of people claim to be atheist Atheists. or agnostic. Uh -huh. Despite living in the in, in the pop's backyard. Backyard. Hey, I didn't know this. They claim to be 20%. They don't believe in Christianity. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't they don't practice any any religion. Atheist or worse? Agnostic. And not what is what does it mean agnostic for you? What's agnostic? Uh huh. No idea. I, they just believe in a in the gnostic. Uh huh. Okay. Let's let's see. Uh, someone who does not know or 
or believes that it is it's impossible, impossible to know if a god exists if a god exists so in other words they are kind of lost <laughs> okay <laughs> but that is their their option that is how they think okay okay pretty good interesting detail about rome and about italy all right good 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 um what else julio in some ways, Italy's economy, the fourth largest in the Eurozone, is essentially two economies, a higher growth economy in the developed industrial north and more slug sluggish one in the less developed south. south. Italy's main ex export are uh, machinery and transport equipment, chemicals, Apparel and wine. And wine. I like wine, to be honest with you. I love it. I like wine. I have some time not to drink a glass. But yes, this is pretty good. The wine yards, they are amazing. They are great. Okay. Uh, let's see, Julio, what is the pronunciation of this word? How do you pronounce this word? Uh, hey, come on. Why this appears? Let me try one more time. We need to check. Okay, there it is. Machinery. Machine. Machinery. machinery. The mach what is machinery? What's that? Machinery. Yeah, machines in general, correct. Uh -huh. Yeah, correct. Okay, only this uh, paragraph and we finish with it. Okay, from the artwork, of Leonardo da Vinci to the fashion houses of Milan, Italy's culture influence has always been profound. Remains of Greek, a Etruscan and Roman civilization dot the peninsula. The country's regional cuisines inspired chef worldwide. Worldwide, okay, pretty good. If you see, Italy is full, full of artists. They have Leonardo. Uh, who else do you know about artists from Italy? Who else? Michelangelo. Michelangelo, correct. Pretty famous. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. Only those two, guys. Mm. Uh -huh. Donatello, no? Donatello. Donatello, no? But Donatello sounds uh, Italian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that is from the, the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> see, we have to know about culture, not only about comics. Yeah, yeah but the Ninja cult, the Ninja Turtles are based on artists from Italy, I think. Ah, really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. What I call, okay, it is not a coincidence, but I didn't know. Okay, nice. Donatello, and who else? Do you know the, the three other names? Caravaggio. Caravaggio. Caravaggio, for the Ninja Turtles? No. <laughs> no, it's another uh, artist. Another artist. Uh -huh. Italian artist. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know about him. Uh, Sandro Botticelli. Ah, Botticelli, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, if you see. A lot of artists, a lot of singers, a lot of Pausini, she's uh, from Italy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The okay. Cristobal Colón. Cristobal Colón. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Was, was he Italian? <laughs> yes. Really? But he was a... I thought he was a Spanish. An artist. I thought no. he was Spanish, not Italian. No. Okay, I'm gonna investigate that because it is the most famous people of Italy. Ah, the okay. same I'm Dante very... Dante Alighieri. Ah, yeah, correct. Dante Alighieri about the books, right? Yeah, uh -huh. the Called Da Vinci Code, the Comedy. Ah, the Divine Comedy, etc. Yeah, correct. yeah, you're right. Okay, pretty good. Okay, nice. Thank you, Julia, for reading about some interesting things about Italy. Let's see. And uh, Romeo, help me with the next country. 
Okay, we read about Italy. The next one is France. Oh. Okay, when you hear France, what comes to your mind when you hear about France? What comes to your mind? Ratatouille? Mm -hmm. Different thing. For me. <laughs> Par Paris, uh, maybe. In my case, uh, which one? the Paris. Paris, Paris and German, the so the football soccer club, correct. Uh -huh. What else? France? Do you speak French? No, it's very uh, difficult. Anne Vania speaks is French because she said, Je, je ne sais quoi, she said. That it is <laughs> no. French. <laughs> no, teacher, yeah? no, I speak, no, I speak French. <laughs> Only English. <laughs> Only English. <laughs> okay, but that's fine. Okay, Romeo, help, help me in the reading about France. What is the, okay. in, what is the ranking in the, in the world of France? Number nine. It no appears as kids. number nine country in the world. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Capital? Paris. Paris, yes. Uh, the region is the same, Europe. Okay. Europe. Yeah. Let's read a little bit. Okay. The, inf the influence France has on the world, both in the past and today, is difficult to overstate. Located in Western Europe, France is one of the world's oldest countries and its rich extends around the globe through sites, politics, economics, and perhaps about all culture. Cool. Uh, starting the culture, sorry. Why why it's cul culture as well in, in in France? Culture, yeah. Huh? Oh. Do you know any so? uh, French artist? Um, I don't. Know. Do you know any no. anyone famous? Any anyone famous in France? Uh huh. Nah. Do I you don't remember know. the small the small man? Napoleon. Napoleon. Oh yeah, Napoleon. Napoleon yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. And correct answer. That's it. Okay, continue. Uh, starting starting in the Middle Age, France um, involved through involved through kingdom, empire, and finally into a republic. It was one of the first nations to champion the rights of the individual. Uh, France today is a democracy with a separation of power falling. Falling between executive, 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 legislative, and judicial uh, branch of government. Ah, like in um, El Salvador, right? What? Yeah, like in El Salvador. In El Salvador, we have the three powers: executive, yeah, the the legislative, legislative. and the judicial. Yeah, yeah, it is the same. The World uh, Bank classif classifies uh, France as a wealthy, high-income nation. French citizens look to the federal government to warranty guarantee. certain social guarantee warran guarantee certain social services such as education, health, car care, and pensions for retirement that means that when you become old you have a good a good pension when you retire yeah. in france but in france not in el salvador in el salvador, el salvador is different <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> uh, just remember uh romeo that when you have uh, uh let's see when you have words in plural for yeah. example services services yes okay. services Okay, and pensions, letter S. Okay. okay. Uh, next. The French economy is one of the world's largest and is a mixture of private enterprise and government involve, involvement. Tourism is a major contributor, contributor to the economy. 
friends generally taps list of most visited countries. Other major economic sectors include industry, agriculture, energy, and, and defense. The country is one of the world's top exporters of weapons. Weapon. What is weapon? weapons? Weapons, uh, for example, uh, rifles, uh, pistols, uh, tanks, maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay. All those uh, things that are really bad for humanity. Okay, but that is what yeah. friends does. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you, Romeo. Okay, very good. Okay. That's it. Okay, nice. Friends, guys, and with the link, you can continue reading and finding more details about this country. Okay, next next reader is going to be ta -da 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 Eduardo Jose. Eduardo, your turn. The country that you're going to read about is a hey, hamburgers. <laughs> What what do you think about the United States when it's mentioned? What comes to your mind? Me? Burgers. What else? When you hear America, United States. Guns. Uh, excuse me? Guns. Mm. Uh, weapons. Ah, uh, weapons. Yeah. Correct. Weapons. <clears throat> what else? Uh -huh. Carla, Jorge, Alejandra, what do you the think? The Liberty Statue. Ah, the Liberty. Correct. The Liberty Statue. Uh, Disneyland. Uh -huh, Central right. Park. Central Park, New York. San Many Francisco places. Bridge. That is beautiful. Yes. And expensive. Visit San Francisco is a lot of it's a lot of expensive. Okay, uh, let's see, Eduardo. United States, the big nation in America. Capital. Washington. Um, DC. DC. DC Comics. Or what does it mean, DC? Uh, I think it's District. Um, I don't know. District of Columbia. Columbia. Yeah, District of Columbia. Okay. Do you know why is District of Columbia? Okay. Really. Ah, okay. You have the option to investigate that. Okay, but if you look at the map, hey, why Alaska is in green, same as United States? Why? Alaska. Okay, maybe we can find that in the reading. Okay, Eduardo, your turn. The United States of America is a North American nation that is the world's most dominant economy and military power. Likewise, its cultural imprint spawns the world lead in large part by its popular culture expressed in music, movies, and television. The country is grappling with the COVID-19 pandemic and the ensuing deep economic recession, recession, and calls for greater social justice reigned in the country following the death of Black American George Floyd at the hands of Police in May and 2020. Public demands public demand to address racial inequality in the country expressed in, in, in institutions such as the criminal justice system and health care has put similar movements in countries around the world. Okay, thanks. Uh, all right. American culture is pretty contradictory in many ways. For example, in this one, you read about, uh, about the racial inequality. Yeah, that is pretty, I don't know. America has a lot of big problems about this and they are still trying, trying to, uh, in a way to, I don't know, to work on that. 
Okay, but nowadays it is still difficult. Okay, let's see how do you pronounce this word? D, I, D, or T? It is expressed with letter T. Expressed. All right. Okay, continue, please. In November 2020, the country's bowlers elect Joe Biden as the nation's 46th president, removing Donald Trump after one term. The country in 2021 is wrestling with deeply polarized politics. The dead, the dead, 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 deadly. The deadly Jam 6 assault on the U.S. Capitol by Trump supporters who reject the November's 2020 election results underscores concerns about the health and future of American democracy. Okay. In other words, Donald Trump didn't want to leave the power. And this happened. They took the as an assault to the US Capitol. Okay, maybe you don't know about that new, but that happened actually. Okay, the small part, the last paragraph until here, please. Following the the terrorist attack on September 11, mm, 2001. 2001, the U.S. launched its war on terror, including the Iraq war, the ongoing war in Afghanistan and other military strikes, including the 2011 killing of Al-Qaeda Al leader Osama bin Laden. The war was had wide-reaching effects on the country's polite politics, economies, and global al alliances, alliances. Mm -hmm. alliances that resonate to this day. To this day. If you see many, many contradictory things about America, but even though the United States is pretty cool, it has a lot of things, a lot of places, and it's I like it too. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, the next one, reading Alejandra, you are going to read about the next country that is, oh, let's see, Romeo, country we like. Japan. 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 Okay, the stress is on the second syllable, Japan. Okay. Japan. Okay, Japan. what is the capital of Japan, guys? Capital, capital city? Tokyo. Tokyo, I think. Tokyo, you think? Let's see. Ta -da -da -da. Yeah, Tokyo, yeah. that's it. Okay, in what is the region? Asia. Asia, that's it. Okay, very good. Let's uh, read a little bit about Japan. Japan, when the world is most littered and technically advanced nations. It's an East Asian archipelago, archipelago country make up, made up for, of, for primary Iceland and more than 6,800 others. Others, they are a lot. While most of Japan is covered by, by mountains and heavily wooded areas, the country's people live a distinctly urban lifestyle, long culturally influenced by its neighbors. Today, the country blends its ancient tradition with aspects of Western life. Western life. Okay, here in this uh, in this paragraph, it says uh, most literate. Literate. What is literate for you? Literate. What does it mean? Literate. Literal. 
Mm -hmm. Let's see. Literate means it is an adjective. It Liter. means able to. Como más educada. Yeah, because people read a lot. Read. Oh. They have that about reading and reading and reading. Yes. Like, like, like culture, uh, like cultos in Spanish. Um, culta, yes. In other words, yes. In that context, yes. Culta, correct. Okay. And technically, technically, we don't say technically, the letter A doesn't sound, it's technically. All right. Okay. Uh huh. Advanced with D. Advanced. Yes, advanced. Uh, okay, this word. This we pronounce word. it I lens. I, I lens. Letter S doesn't sound when you pronounce it. I lens. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Covered with D. Covered. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Influenced with D as well. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Ancient, ancient, from ancient. the past, meaning from the past. Okay, continue. The country can trace its political unification to the late fourth, fourth and early five centuries BC. Civilization, civilization flourished oh, in the late eight to the late. 12 centuries. Centuries, followed by even more centuries of military rule. The country was isolated, isolated from the early 1600 to the mid 19th, 19th century. Okay, when you see this, sorry, when you see this type of number, is 16th, 16th to the mid 19th century. Continue. At which point? At, at which point its port opened up to the west. Japan had grand territorial ambitions in the 19th invading several countries only to be defeated in World War II. Only to be defeated. 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 That means that they lost they lost the war and the war war two. Okay. Who was the country that they they fought? Remember? What was the country? Sorry. What was the country that Japan uh, fought against uh, with? Don't remember the word? World War II. The US? With the US, correct. Remember or have you seen movies about Pearl Harbor or et cetera, any, any other movies about that? Okay, pretty good. Okay, continue. Japan. Japan has a parliamentary government with a constitutional monarchy. The emperor still holds his title as a symbol of national unity, but elect polit politicians hold actual decision making power. Making power. Okay, but elected. 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 Yes, pronunciation ID, elected. Politicians elected. Uh, hold actual decisions making power, etc., etc. Okay, check. You can continue reading more about this. And if you go down, you can see extra uh, information about the country that you read. Uh, of course, we have photos, pictures. Check how Japan is. People traveling on the subway, 
Many crowded cities. Tokyo is crowded. The fields, and there is this uh, famous mountain that I don't remember the name. El Cerezo, check, pretty famous. And the politicians. Beautiful. Hey, you know how the this is called? The? The Geisha. The Geisha, uh -huh, correct. Pretty cultural. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice pictures. Hey, Buddha, what is Buddha doing there? Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, the last one. The last one, who wants to read about Spain? Ah, Francisco, you, you like to Spain, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you read a little bit about this country? What is the capital of Spain? Madrid. Barcelona. Which one? No, Barcelona. Madrid. No. Madrid. <laughs> it was Madrid, Real Madrid, right? That's why. Barcelona is my favorite uh, soccer for team. The, the, the club, the club, yeah, the soccer team. <laughs> okay, nice. But okay, the capital let's... is Madrid. Madrid. Pretty, pretty famous as well. Yeah. A number. A number of independent kingdoms in, united in uh, 14. 1, 000, 14 by 2. Yeah, 1492. 92. 92 to form the Kingdom of Spain, a cultural patchwork uh, that continues to shape the modern nation's dynamic identity. Spain comprised much of the Iberian Peninsula which it shares with Portugal on the southwestern edge of Europe. It also includes the Balearic Island in the Mediterranean Sea, the Canary Island in the Atlantic Ocean, and two enclaves in North Africa. North Africa. Okay, for example, we pronounce this dynamic. Dynamic. Dynamic, and this is similar. Identity. Dynamic identity. In identity, correct. Dynamic identity. Uh, blah, blah, uh, islands, remember, islands. Islands. Islands, correct. Okay, next uh, paragraph. Maritime. 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 Maritime strength and colonial wealth is the... Established. Established. Spain established Spain position of uh, as a global leader through the sixteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth centuries, and standing that declined as the nation laid behind great global movements such as as the Industrial Revolution. A civil war brought dictator Francisco Franco into power in 1939. And it was only after his death in 1975 that the Spain could make a strike to level itself with international progress. International progress, okay. Uh, let's see. You can continue reading about this this country, finding facts, interesting things, etc. Okay. Uh, let's see, guys. This is a little bit about culture about around the world. So you have many many things you can check. Interesting things from many countries. As you see, the website is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, uh, this, this was today's class. No more to study, just uh, practicing some reading, vocabulary, pronunciation, etc. I'll see you tomorrow for another class, all right? Thank you for joining. Have a good and wonderful night, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh, Thank you, you teacher. Good night, good night bye -bye. everyone. Good night. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Take care.
Yep. Okay. See you. Bye-bye.